Hi, and welcome to Dawn's Tomorrow. Um, today, I had some time with my granddaughter, and um, we had fun. We um, discussed the importance of gas masks and different kinds and shapes and sizes and um, we we made a couple of them today we made three and uh, that was real fun and it was quite an experience so um, I'm gonna share that with you so what we did we made ours out of uh, Clorox bottles not the large ones but the medium ones we turned them upside down um, and used the the knob <laughs> or yeah the top the opening top uh, to connect to the filter that we made out of a water bottle yeah we made the filter out of a water bottle we cut the shape of our face into the Clorox bottle and taped it up and sealed it uh, tight so that it would fit tight to our faces and uh, well tight to my face and she made one that was tight to her face and then we cut um, eye and eye uh, like well rectangle in there for you know so that we could see we used a piece of plastic um, pliable plastic and taped that on there too and sealed that up real tight um, so that we could see the viewing area and it was it was quite an experience in the filter we used um, I think it's called activated uh, carbon and it, it looks like little coal little bitty uh, fine pieces of coal that's what it looked like and we used some cotton in there in the bottom and put the coal over the top for the filter and sealed the two bottles together I used a little piece of sponge on the top uh, for the filter between the filter and the face mask and yeah that was a real experience I had um, was going to post it uh, on on YouTube on my channel what it looked like when we was done but I'm gonna not do that because it didn't look like it would protect you but I think that the main thing is that it's sealed properly if you go um, and look it up um, bottle gas mask and then you'll see all different kinds of ways to make them the important thing is to have a good seal around your face and have the proper uh, filtration system in your bottle so you need to have your holes properly placed and your um, the right uh, the right stuff to put in there for your fil filter and that has to be sealed to your face mask if you don't have it sealed up good and you don't you don't want any uh, leaks anywhere any air gaps uh, because if you have that chances are you're not gonna live very long okay and you know we discussed um, like poisonous gases and um, what else is there um, like tear gas and uh, different smoke bombs things that will cause you to gag and choke and you might not either either be able to get away from whoever's after you or it might be just meant to kill you and so the important thing was that we did make the mask today and we went and got the supplies and it was you know we feel a lot better now you know knowing that uh, we can grab those in case of a a uh, terrorist attack or a, uh, a problem shit hits a fan situation and uh, we don't have to just try to put a you know a, a, a bandana up against our faces because that's not gonna get it a bandana over your face 
is not going to save you from a, from a poisonous gas. So, uh, I would just advise you to check those out. Check out uh, the different ones. They're not, they're not really hard. They're not hard. It's just, it's kind of time consuming. Uh, but we made three today. And um, it's not really that time consuming. I'm not a really uh, handy like that usually. But watch several videos on how to do it. And um, that's, you just, that's what you got to do. You got to keep watching. Keep trying over and over and just go for it. And don't just sit back and say, oh, I wish I could do that, you know, because I need that. You have to go get it and do it. Now, I don't think that the um, the carbon uh, stuff that I got was only like five ninety nine, dollars um, And I got that from the uh, pet store. Oh, yeah, pet store is like the stuff you put in a fish tank. The cotton balls I already had on hand, but you can get those for a dollar. The bleach bottles, I had those just laying around because I use um, I reuse my bottles for water, for emergency uh, uh, storage. And uh, you can never have too much water. You're going to use bleach anyway. You may as well clean it out and fill it up with water. Another thing about the bleach bottles, um, when you fill them up with water, is because like the milk jugs, they will absorb whatever is in the air around them because they have uh, tiny holes that are porous and they can allow things to get in. Now the bleach bottles are not like that. So those would be handy. Um, if you did that, just make sure you tear off the label uh, so that you and write on the outside what it is and if it's safe for drinking and because you might think it's just bleach and you might be dying of thirst Literally, it might need that bleach, I mean, need that water to drink, and uh, you're thinking it's bleach. So, that about sums it up. But I strongly urge you to check out the gas mask and try to do it. It really gives you a sense of relief, one like you've never known. You know, as far as prepping goes, uh, you have every... I pretty much covered almost everything that um, I had concerns about except for that because I'm thinking I need so many of them you know because I have a family and whatever and I can't afford to go and buy all of these you know um, these masks and then they're gonna lose them or lay them somewhere and get them destroyed or something the kids are gonna tear them apart so it's just it's good to um, to make them and uh, anyway, well, I really hope that you try that. And um, until next time, good bugging out.